Lion Precision's capacitive label sensors work by detecting web thickness. Splices change the thickness of the web and therefore the sensors are affected by splices. How splices affect the sensor depends on the sensor model and the location of the splice relative to the labels. Let's start with the LRD2100 and LRD3100 which use the same technique for detecting labels. Before discussing how the whole labeling process may be affected by splices, we'll first look at exactly how these sensors respond to splices. Rather than sense the total thickness of the web, the LRD2100 and LRD3100 only detect changes in web thickness. When an increase in thickness is detected, the output changes to indicate the presence of a label. When a decrease in thickness is detected, the output changes to indicate a gap. If the sensor is already indicating the presence of a label and it encounters a second increase in thickness, the sensor is not affected and does not change. Therefore, if the leading edge of a splice is located under a label, the sensor will not detect it. When the trailing edge of the label passes under the sensor, while the splice is still present, the sensor will detect the decrease in thickness and correctly indicate the presence of a gap. The increase in thickness of the next label will cause the sensor to correctly indicate the presence of another label. When the trailing edge of the splice passes through the sensor, it will detect a decrease in thickness and incorrectly indicate a gap before the trailing edge of the label. Because the sensor is already indicating a gap, the decrease in thickness at the trailing edge of the label will have no effect on the sensor. After this, the sensor is now ready to detect the next label with normal operation. If the leading edge of the label is used to trigger the labeler, then splices will have no effect, provided the splice edges are placed under labels. Because the gap indication occurs at the end of the splice instead of at the end of the label, labelers set to trigger on the trailing edge of labels will misplace one label during the splice. To avoid any errors from splices, Labelers should be triggered by the leading edge of the labels as they pass through the sensor when using the LRD2100 or LRD3100 model sensors. Now we'll look at the LRD6110 and the Ultra LRD V2. Rather than measuring changes, the LRD6110 and Ultra LRD V2 measure the total thickness of the web. During setup, the sensors are calibrated for the thickness of the liner. Any thickness greater than the liner is detected as the presence of a label. If the sensor is already indicating the presence of a label when it encounters a splice, the sensor is not affected. When the trailing edge of the label passes through the sensor, the splice maintains a total thickness greater than the liner only and the sensor does not see the gap and incorrectly continues to indicate the presence of a label. As the trailing edge of the splice passes the sensor, the sensor will continue to correctly indicate the presence of a label. Splices placed in this traditional manner between two labels will cause the LRD6110 and Ultra LRD V2 to miss one label. With the LRD6110 and Ultra LRD V2, the only way to be unaffected by splices is to place the entire splice under a single label. In this case, the increase in thickness from the splice is hidden under the label, but this is an unusual way to splice webs and may not be practical. Knowing how these sensors react with splices will equip you to anticipate and avoid machine errors resulting from spliced webs. Please contact us if you have any questions.